All right, so the next project I want to take a look at is setting up a business card. I'm going to get it started and then, you know, you can follow this and keep working. All right, so first thing I want to do is I need to make sure that I set it up properly. I'm going to set it up for a front and back business card. So I come to File, New, Document. Now, the best thing about InDesign is um, first thing I want to do is I want to undo facing pages and right? I don't want the facing pages. And we can see when I have the facing pages, see in the master in the pages window, I have those little facing pages. Don't want that. Step one, unclick that. Make sure it's set to print. Okay. And I can come down to page size and I can come right in and there is one for business for business card. Now I need to make sure about the orientation. How do I want it to orient? Do I want it to orient like so? Do I want it to orient like this? And that's something you know, that you can think about. It all depends on how you want to lay out your business card. All right, I'm going to take a look at uh, the margins. I think this is way too many margins. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. You might think, ah, you know, I don't margins aren't so, so important with my business card. But just having a little bit of a guide might use this, might, might really not. So I hit OK. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Now, the first thing I want to take a look at here is I want to have more than one page. So page one is my front and now I'm going to come to page two and I can just pull out and I have another one. So I have front, I have back, front and back, front and back. All right. Now, um, and I can, I can start to work and start placing my different objects in. So I have my logo. Again, all of the fancy stuff is done in Illustrator. All right. So uh, maybe I want to look at how it's oriented so I can come to file, document, document setup. And if I want to change, actually, I'm thinking, you know, I want mine to be set up like so. So I hit OK. All right, I can come on in. Maybe I want to start, um, depending upon how you want to design it all. I want to start with a color. Maybe I do. So I'm going to start. I'm going to draw a rectangle. Now, um, I'm going to extend this out to have a little bit of a bleed section. Uh, in my next video, uh, I have an, in a video on my channel here. I have a whole th something on um, bleeds. All right, so here we go. We continue to move. Um, I'm going to just add a color in here, lighten this up, hit OK. And it should have gone in, but it looks like it didn't. Hold on for a minute. I must not have had it selected. Ah, it didn't have it selected. Let's try one more time. Coming on into here because I, I want to get the whole uh, color chooser. There we have it. That's more like it. All right, so now I can come on in and I'm going to place my logo. So best bet is to start with a box right in here. This is actually um, maybe the front of my card. I'm going to come on in, file, place. And I can come on in right to here, open. All right, now what I want to do as well is I can change the size of it. So I come on into object fitting and I'm going to say fit content proportionally. Now I can see too, you know, I don't like the way this looks so much, but the good news is that the original file is always sent. Let me delete this. Let's see what it looks like if I place in the .ai file, if that actually looks a little bit better. So I'm going to come on in. I'm going to use this margin as my guide. I'm going to come on in to file place and I'm going to place in the .ai file and it still it has this real rough kind of look to it but actually and this is what I want to say this is what I should have said to you don't worry about it uh, if you contact proportionally because once you go to preview so if we say file and um, we preview it we go to presentation all right, it looks fine all right so that's the whole thing you want to keep going in and previewing and a lot of times when it's placed and it has this noise to it Next thing I want to do is I'm going to grab my text line and I'm going to come down into here. I'm going to draw my next text box and I'm going to, you know, start. Hold on for a minute. I'm going to start. Um, maybe I want to draw it over here. Okay, so illustration and design. All right, so maybe I want to take this, pull this in over here. Maybe I want to actually even change the font to this. Um, I can quadruple three times, click, and it changes. I can come on in to my type. Uh, maybe I want to go to, I think this was 
mom's typewriter or something like that, or it's a typewriter font. All right, so I can come on in and, and do all of this. I think you probably get the idea. Uh, I can come on into rough typewriter. Now, whenever I see this little box right here, it's because it doesn't fit. The box is not large enough. All right, so I can do a couple different things. I can come in, um, I can hit return, change the size of the box to fit. Um, I can take this, I can, I can center it. Once I'm in the type mode, triple click, um, center. All right, so lots of different options. And then I have all these different options too, coming on in and working on the back. So I have the front. Now that's okay, this one went behind, doesn't really matter. Double click and now I'm on the other page. So I can design a front and a back for a business card very, very easily working in InDesign. InDesign, it's a great way to take my different sets of type, move things around. And again, when I wanna preview it, I can just hit the letter W. Uh, but if I really want a full preview, I would recommend to go on in to screen mode and presentation. And then you start to get a sense of, okay, this is what it's gonna look like. So there we have it, laying out a business card in InDesign.